Right guys, so welcome to this video and we are going to just do talking to camera nice and easy about injury prevention and basically our experience of injuries. So you guys know who Ryan Crowley is. If you don't, make sure you check him out on all his YouTube, Instagram, social media. It's Ryan Crowley 97. Seven. Thank you. Um, but yeah, if you don't know who he is, a little background on your injury, we'll say, because that's what we're going to be talking about. If you want to explain what you've done, obviously I'll talk about mine after. Well, so probably seven months ago now, uh, I was inclined bench pressing and I completely ruptured my pec off the bone. The whole thing exploded. Um, it was really like seg segmented, or I can't remember the word they used, but they had to literally sew it back together and make like a stump. And then they had to make a fake tendon and drill it back into my humerus. The whole thing was exploded, like pretty much never seen anything like it before. Um, it's been a really long road since. I, yeah. I was training with my left arm while I was still in a sling, yeah, trying to that. get the blood flowing, you know, trying to get the, Looking around it. Get better and better, but uh, we're now, yeah, seven months on. And he obviously he's a young bodybuilder, you're 24. Yeah. Um, what, what are your aspirations or what are you still going forward? What are you wanting to do? Well, I mean, I started bodybuilding when I was 16. I've done 22 shows now. Wow. I have like 19 trophies at home, you know, I've competed in like loads of different countries. I've done very well, you know, as an amateur. I've been like one point off my pro card a lot of times now and it's just depressing, you know, trying to get there, get there, get there. And then something like this happens and it's kind of messed up my head in terms of, I feel like maybe I won't be able to get to the top of bodybuilding. I really truly believed I could before because there's not many people that are six foot three with um, as much muscle as me, especially as young, you know, it's really hard to build muscle on a tall frame. Mm. I did really believe that, I know I don't have the prettiest physique, but I could be up there with the top and now I'm kind of, left with this gap between my pec and my delt. Um, I'm just yeah. very depressed about it and it's very hard right now. And even seven months on, you're still feeling like that? Yeah, like I said to Ryan, I said, previously I felt unbreakable, you know, I'm getting a hack squat or anything. I feel like I can move this as much as I can until it doesn't move, you know, it's so simple, yeah, right? Yeah. But it's not that simple. I, I feel vulnerable now to anything. Like even today we were training legs, I had a little bit of a, a twinge in my knee and it really messed me up. I really struggled to carry on after that. Yeah. Just because I'm scared that something else is going to bang, you know? Because it's, I was Superman, I felt like Superman, but now I, I don't. Yeah, that's and understandable. Ryan's had injuries too, so he does very much understand when we're talking about that. Yeah, so for me, obviously, I do relate to how he's feeling with this because I've had numerous injuries over, I've been training 20 years, it's inevitable, especially when you've got that bodybuilding competitive mentality, you want to go balls out as hard as you can every session. Uh, I always train with super heavyweight bodybuilders, so it was always that male ego lifting type of uh, training. Um, and yeah, I've had two hip surgeries, slip discs in my back, um, bulging discs in my neck. Um, but, uh, so I, yeah, I understand where he's coming from with the negativity. So trying to be able to train or come back from an injury. I was on crutches for six months in 2018 and lose a lot of size. And that, it's not, not necessarily the physical side coming back, it's the mental side. It's, it's trying to get your, your head right and not rush things and not put pressure on yourself. So I was trying to say to, to Ryan today, I could see when he was starting to lose his head and he was starting to yeah, go inwards and whatnot. I was trying to bring it around because I could relate to that. Um, I've had to, I won't say go back to the beginning, but go back to that mind to muscle connection and concentrate on each each rep, each set, each exercise, rather than just going mass weight, careless, as hard as I can or whatnot. So there is ways of coming around for it. And I know Ryan can come back from this. Yes, we've got to be realistic. Um, he has got a pec tear there, but even when he, when he hits a few poses and in his head, he looks horrendous. But to me, he doesn't. And obviously in time, he can build muscle around it and, and get back up there. And I do truly believe that. I'm not just saying that. What goes through your head when you're bench pressing? Um, so, uh, to be honest, I haven't done more than a free bar, just as a bar. I can do a bar and I'm comfortable with that. I did 50 kilos on a Smith bench press a few weeks ago. I can do 10 kilo dumbbell press. I can do about 25 on a hammer strength press. But uh, as you can see, you can see the fake tendon. And sometimes if I look at it, it makes me feel better. And then sometimes if I'm covered up, it makes me push harder. So it's really weird. Like some days I want to see it moving because it makes me feel safer. I know what's going on. And some days I don't want to see it. It's really weird. But uh, I just, I don't know how to trust it. And I don't know, supposedly it should be stronger, but I'm just so scared, you know, because the smallest thing can have such a big um, problem, you know, like 
obviously what happened turned into ruining a lot for me, possibly my life in terms of what I wanted, hopefully not. But uh, again, like I get scared and everything else I feel like I have a problem with now. And I just like, imagine if, if it was to go again, just because I'm trying to get back. This is a problem we have, like especially him having injuries too, is we're trying to push as hard as we can to take our bodies to the next level because there's this line and we have to literally play on the line. And if we step over the line, the smallest bit, something can go wrong, but you don't know where the line is. You know, we're just trying to make ourselves better every day and then some things can go wrong and it just holds you back so much. Okay, so my injury or my major injury, which was obviously tearing the leg around my hip, that was in 2018. So we're in 2021 now, so it has taken a little bit of time. I'm not gonna lie, he's obviously in the early stages and I went through all this, um, but it was just basically restarting again, um, taking it easy, getting back into that mind to muscle connection, getting the calories in, is in it, uh, getting the calories in as well, because obviously nutrition is key. And if your mind's not right on that side of it, that's where you're gonna really struggle. So for me, it was about getting that mental state right. Um, and this year was a huge turning uh, point for me. And I wish I'd done it sooner. We could have done this two years earlier and I've not wasted two years, but for me, it was getting my mental state right. And I, I basically sat down with my family, sat down with my wife, um, spoke to someone about it. And then I know something clicked this year. And I thought, instead of hiding behind excuses and just trying to do the bare minimum, we, uh, we train around it, we make a new plan, and we instead of uh, avoiding it, we just head, hit it head on and straight on and whatnot. And yes, I don't train nowhere near as heavy, but my sessions are way more intense now. I get better muscle, uh, mind to muscle connections, and I'm improving. This is the first year in three years. Now my mental side is right, and I'm focused and I know what I'm doing. It's the first year I've improved in, in three years since the injuries. Um, and now I've got that so much confidence going into the next Olympia because I know what I need to do and how I need to do it. So I think for Ryan, he just needs to, to deal with this side of it. Try, even if he needs to speak to someone like a mental coach just to get you through it, to, to make you more comfortable and then not put too much pressure on yourself. Like obviously he's a competitive person so he wants to be the best in the world as quick as he can. But just take a step back and look at the short term goal before you hit your long term goal. It's 24. Time is 30, you, you really forget. Forget. So talk to me about your goals going forward then, are you looking to step back on stage? Yeah, of course, I mean, ultimately I got into this life being a bodybuilder and trying to be the best bodybuilder I can and I will be on stage as soon as I can and I had this mindset of should I leave it a few years, you know, and, and make my next stage appearance like the best peck I could, but I, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to get back into that bodybuilding prep mindset pretty soon and try and see what happens, you know, like if it comes to a few weeks out of the show and I look not good enough, then I probably won't do it. But again, with all the social media kind of stuff now too, it helps to be in good shape um, as well. And it's, it's not going to hurt me dying down and getting ready for a show and if I'm not, I'm pulling out. I just need something to give me that aggression back because I'm losing that bodybuilder yeah nah. it's understandable it'll come back i promise you it'll come back just gotta take it step by step guys if you're suffering with injuries yourself and you can relate to anything that me and ryan are saying um, obviously comment below um either one of us on his channel or my channel we'll try and get back to you um and just yeah try not to be too hard on yourselves um thank you for watching uh, this video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video